What is up guys, DeckerCrafter here, and today we're going to be setting up permissions or commands for your Pixelmon server. Please follow the steps carefully, and I'll make sure to have all the links down in the description so you don't get confused. Also, please smash subscribe, I'm going to make this real quick and easy for you guys. So first thing you want to do is go to the SpongeForge website and download the latest version of SpongeForge. Then what you want to download after that is you want to make sure you get the Sponge version of LuckPerms. This is what's going to handle our permissions. Downloads here. And then... Finally, you're going to want Nucleus. It comes with a ton of commands. I'm not going to show you how to set up all of them, but I'm going to show you how to set them up so that you can choose which commands you want to add to your server. We're also just going to download the latest version of this. Now that all our downloads are done, we're just going to hit show in folder. Then we're going to minimize our Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Go into your Pixel 1 server folder. Then you're going to open up the mods folder. You're going to take all three of these. Take these three and dump them in here just like that that easy now they're in our server so what we're gonna do now is run the server all right now our server is booted up we're gonna go into Minecraft join your server obviously and while it's joining make sure that you are set as the server operator I'm gonna make this smaller just so you don't see my IP in case it pops up okay OP and Deca crafter to just ensure that you are opt on your server. Now, I'm already opt, so that's why it said that uh, nothing has changed. Next, what we want to do is start adding commands. So, we're going to need to make sure that we as an admin are able to actually set permissions from in-game. So, we're going to do LP user decacrafter permission set luckperms dot star. Hit enter. And now in game, you can see that we have permissions for luckperms.star. This will allow us to type all the commands that we need in game. So Nucleus comes with a bunch of different commands that you're able to set for your users. I'm going to put all of these links again in the description. And if you need help with anything, just join my Discord. Link to that will be in the description as well. And you can reach out to me directly. Please DM me. Don't talk in the general chat or anything. Uh, unless you want to talk to people in the general chat. So there's not too many commands that I actually recommend giving players. However, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to show you how you do it. Now, one command that we probably all want is to be able to go to spawn. So we're going to scroll all the way down this list, or you can control F. But you'll find this the little spawn section. So nucleus.spawn.base. This is a user command. Allows the user to run the slash spawn command. So what we're going to do is copy this, go into Pixelmon, type slash LP group default permission set, and we're going to just paste it in there, nucleus.spawn.base. Hit enter, and now users will be able to type slash spawn, and it will take you to the spawn point of the world. Now we do want to make sure that we have the admin permissions for Nucleus, so we're going to do LP user your Minecraft name, permission, set, nucleus, dot, admin. Then we're also going to do nucleus, dot, user, and then finally, nucleus, dot, mod. Now the reason for this is because without it, you probably wouldn't be able to type slash, set spawn, or set first spawn, but now we can set the spawn and users will be able to type slash spawn to go there. Okay, now that your admin permissions are all set up, let's focus back on the users. So it's actually pretty easy and straightforward. If you want to have them be able to go home, we're just going to do Control F. We're going to look for home. So here's all the home permissions. So the user allows the slash home command. Um, oh, that's with the limit though, so we don't want that one. Okay, home.base. Copy. And it's really this easy to set up commands. So we're just going to do slash lp group default permission set nucleus home dot base then after the are able to do slash home you actually still want them to be able to set a home so we're going to do this command as well nucleus home set base there's actually uh, quite a few that you're going to need to add to make sure that nothing goes wrong so when you hit set the home base, this allows them to uh, do slash home and home delete. So you can delete extra homes if you have them. And home list allows you to see the homes that you have set up. 
Then what we want to be able to add to our default users, you probably want them to be able to TPA, so do control F, type TPA, and you can see the TPA base here. So you're going to go in, pretty much do the exact same thing that you just did for home, TPA base, and then you want them to be able to TP accept. And after TP accept, you probably want them to be able to do slash TPA here. This is allowing users to request other users to teleport to them. That's what TPA here is for, is teleporting uh, other people to you. And TP deny. All right, so now our user is able to do slash spawn, set their homes, and deny teleports. At this point, you kind of get how permissions are set up, so I'm not going to go any, into any further detail on it. Now your default users are all set up. If you want to learn how to set up groups, I am going to link the usage wiki down below. It'll talk about groups and all that and how to set groups. It's pretty straightforward. If I wanted to create a group, I would just do slash LP, create group, and then we can name the group mod. And then you can assign slash LP group mod permission set and whatever permissions that you want your mods to have or admins. And that's how you do groups. It's pretty straightforward. And to add a person to a group, if you want them to be a mod or admin, you would type slash LP user and then the name of the player. And then you're going to do parent add and the name of the group you want to add them to. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.